What is up everybody and in this video I'm going to be showing you some examples on how to use the layout option for the Next.js image optimization. When I first started with Next.js that was one of the things I would really like some sort of video on like this one just explaining how the different layout options worked because sometimes for example when using layout fill the image would just disappear and I don't know where the hell it would go. So let's hop right in, let me show you some examples on the four different layout types that exist in Next.js. Okay, so here we are and the first layout we're gonna be taking a look at is gonna be the layout fixed one. And if I had to rank the four different layout types from least useful to most useful, fixed is definitely gonna be the least useful. And then on the second lowest place is going to be layout responsive. And then on the first place as the most useful layouts are going to be layout fill and layout intrinsic together, because I think those two are very useful. Whereas the other ones are, you know, maybe useful in some edge cases, but in my time using Next.js, which has been quite a bit, I've never used any of uh, either layout fixed or layout responsive. And I'm going to show you why. So let's start out with the layout fixed and I've prepared a little example for you. So we're in VS code and right now let's just type the layout um, fixed and the three layouts fixed, responsive and intrinsic all require you to also define the width and the height of the image. So I've prepared this image right here, as you can see. And if you're also working with VS Code, you can see the width and the height right here in the bottom. So this image is 640 pixels by, what's that on English, 747, 74, no, 47, 747. So um, that's what you use right here as the width and height. And depending on the layout type you're using, those are very important for maintaining the aspect ratio of the image. And I'm going to show you that in a second. So let's just leave the image right here with the width and height and the layout fixed. And let us take a look at what that looks like in the actual browser. So right here, you can see the image with layout fixed. And what that will do is the image will neither shrink nor will it grow to fit the container. So right here, this is a grid div. So there are two columns in this div and this image, because it is set to layout fixed, it will neither shrink nor grow. It will just stay the same. And one edge case where that might be useful is when there's a lot of detail in the image and you do not want it to shrink because then you wouldn't be able to tell the detail at all. So you just um, either show it on the desktop at a fixed width and height or you don't show it at all. But uh, it is a very weird or very specific edge case and I have never in my life used layout fixed anywhere in a production project yet. So that's pretty simple. Let's move on to layout responsive because that is way more useful than fixed. But still it has one issue that I think is um, making it worse than layout intrinsic. And they are quite similar, but let's start with layout responsive and layout responsive also requires you to enter the width and the height of the image. So let's just keep that there. And what layout responsive will do is it will now shrink. So when the viewport gets smaller, you can see the image actually shrinks with the viewport, which is pretty much what we want. We can also just um, remove the text for a second here. And yeah, it, it shrinks with the content and it grows, which is pretty useful. And then when this div reaches a maximum um, width that I have defined right here, so it, it's a maximum width of 2080 pixels, then it will stop growing. But one problem with layout responsive in Next.js is when you are not limiting the width. So for example, you take this out and I'm also going to remove the grid so you can see it more clearly. Um, what the image is going to do, it's going to grow infinitely. It will not stop based on the image's width, its intrinsic width that we have set right here. So it won't stop growing at 640 pixels, but it will keep growing as much as it needs to pretty much. 
And the problem with that is when the image is not of a very high resolution, like this image, which is, you know, it's not even like HD quality, then it will, it will continue growing and it will look very weird once it hits a certain size because the, the image just get, gets washed out, the quality just gets way worse. And that is the main reason that I think layout intrinsic is better than layout responsive. Because layout intrinsic is very similar to layout responsive, the difference being it stops growing once the image reaches the intrinsic width. So let me show you. So let's change the layout responsive to layout intrinsic. And as you can see, the image has shrunk down right away to its um, to its intrinsic size of, um, what was it, 640 pixels in width. And I can show you that when we go right here to elements and then compute it, you can see the height of the image is 747 pixels, which is what we have defined right here. And the width is right here at the bottom, it's 640. So as you can see, it stops growing at this width right here. And that will pretty much prevent the image from being washed out and the quality just getting worse if the image uh, grows too much, because it can't. And that is pretty much the big difference to the layout responsive. And this image behaves really similar or in the, in the same way as the original HTML image element. So as long as you define the width and height, this image will behave the same as if you were to use the, oops, the actual HTML image element. Let's just comment this out. And as you can see, nothing changes and the image behaves in the exact same way. So if you are used to the actual HTML element, then I recommend you use layout intrinsic because it is, it's behaving in the same way. But the condition for that is that you know the width and the height of the element. When you're dynamically getting these images, it can be hard to know these dimensions. For example, if you're getting them from a CMS, you might know them, but if you're randomly generating images or getting random images from like a Pixabay or Unsplash via an API, you rarely know the dimensions of the image, making you unable to use layout intrinsic. And that is what the last layout is for, layout fill. When you don't know the dimensions of the image, then, oh, and we need to change this back to the Next.js image. So when you've defined layout fill, you cannot use the width and the height that are required for the other three. Let me show you what happens. We're gonna get, well, we're not gonna get an error, which is confusing. I don't know why it's not giving us an error. I thought it should give us an error, but it's not. Anyways, if we use layout fill by itself, the image disappears. Why is it doing that? Because when we use layout fill, the image will try to fill up the parent element. And the parent element is this div right here. So what happens is this div is still rendered, but even if we were to give it a background of red, for example, to really make it pop in the, in the browser, nothing happens. Why is that? And the image is actually like right here. The image is there, but the problem is it has no height that the layout fill could use up. So what can we do against that? Let me just disable this. And what we can do is either we can explicitly define a height of the parent. So let's use, for example, um, a height of like almost hundred pixels. And as you can see, the image will show up, but it is incredibly ugly. And I will get to why it's so ugly in a second. But first I want to show you the other way. So, so let's just restore some basic styles in this document and let's remove the explicit height we have given the parent and replace this and assign the parent a grid. And why are we doing that? The image disappears again. Why are we doing that? So we can actually render some text or something at the right hand side. And as you can see, what that will do, the text is also generating the height of the parent. So the text is saying, yo, parent, I need this and this amount of height to be able to render my text correctly and also render the padding we have assigned to it. And what that will do, it will implicitly give the image on the left hand side the height it needs to actually show up in the browser. 
Now, why is this image fill looking so horrible? That is because one property you always want to use with a layout fill in Next.js it's called the object fit and what that's gonna do it's not an original property from Next.js it is just applying the CSS property to the image that is rendered so object fit could either be cover or contain let's try the contain and what that will do is render the entire image like nothing is overflowing in the container that it has available right so if we would have more text let's just copy this down we have double the amount of text then the image would be twice the size because it tries to fit the entire image in the container that it has available which is this container right here because remember we split it up in a grid into two columns um we don't want that that looks a bit weird i mean maybe you want that in this case i think one option that would be more suitable would be the object fit of cover and what that will do it will allow the element to overflow but it will obviously keep the original aspect ratio and fill up the entire available space with the image so yes on the top and on the bottom it will overflow so some details are hidden but it looks way better depending on the image you're using and one option you also have if you're using the layout cover um, is that you can also use the object position property of Next.js and that can be like for example top if there's a face at the top of the image that would be hidden in this case you could leave you could use the um, object position top and what that will do is just show the top of the image and then the rest of the image so this is the top right here then the rest of the image down here uh, would be hidden in this case so it's, it's not showing the same way you could use like the um, the bottom of the image and that will just use the bottom so there's um, nothing below here but the image is overflowing like all the way to the top and it's just showing the bottom of the image layout fill is the layout you would want to use when you are dynamically importing images and you do not know the um, the dimensions the size of the image you're importing otherwise i would recommend using the layout intrinsic because handling that is very very similar to the um, html image element and if you've been working a bit in html you're um, just very used to working with normal image element and not much will change with the Next.js image besides the performance of the image being way better than the regular HTML image element. Okay, so thank you for watching. I really hope you liked the examples I gave you and found them useful. And I still wish you a lot of fun programming on your own projects with the knowledge you hopefully gain from this video. See you on the next one and have a great day. Bye bye.